Angeles Jim Baker has reached a settlement with authorities out in the Midwest who accused him of trying to sell a fake COVID-19 cure right as the pandemic was just starting. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger found out the controversy brings back memories for many here in Charlotte who still say to this day that Baker is a con man. God gave us this product. That was the claim made by Jim Baker last year about a silver solution, which he said and many others on his program said would cure COVID-19 and essentially anything else that ails you. Touted as a miracle cure, authorities and experts say essentially it was snake oil, dangerous and even capable of turning skin blue. And now Baker is having to pay up. It doesn't surprise me at all because it's the Jim Baker that I knew from an earlier time. Paul Whitfield knows Jim Baker better than most. We already have around 1,000 lifetime members before the telethon started. Baker's PTL program broadcast from Charlotte in the 70s before moving to Fort Mill. Whitfield followed him a lot during that time, but came to change his opinion of him after a visit to the Heritage USA campus. One day we went out there and he had a man who was teaching everybody how to speak in tongues. Yes. And it was a con like everything else that Jim did. Whitfield wound up being one of the lawyers behind a massive class action civil lawsuit against Baker stemming from Baker's financial scandals involving PTL. Jim Baker spent time in prison. His empire crumbled, but Baker came back. Authorities in Missouri went after him for his newest effort, offering that silver solution to those who contributed to his ministry. For Whitfield, there is a lot of deja vu. I'm surprised. Yeah. He, he was burned and burned badly mm -hmm. and held up to national ridicule. And the fact that he would do it again surprises me. As part of the Silver Solutions settlement, though, Baker does not admit any wrongdoing, but does have to pay a judgment of $156,000. He also can't sell that Silver Solution again as a cure for anything. Derek Dellinger, Fox 46.